Hi, welcome back to ODE. Today, another unboxing video. This one, I didn't open it yet. This is just, I, in this case, I could just peel apart the shipping information. So I ripped it off and it took a little part of the paper there, but I didn't open it. Let's open these together. So maybe I'll try I'll start here. And it's good this way because I can now separate the plastic from the, the paper and recycle it. And here we have our package with the pen. I'm quite curious about this pen. I liked it the moment I saw it, so I bought it. Another one, yes. As if I don't have enough pens. But I guess you all know this is not a matter of having enough pens or not. So, put this away. This is a package that I bought from eBay. And this is a seller from whom I bought before. And I liked it. I like what I bought from him. And so, when I was checking his web store again, I saw this pen and I just had to, to have it. Okay, how can I undo this? Here it is. This is the pen that I bought. It is a very simple pen, as you may see. It looks kind of vintage, but it's not really vintage. And let's just open the final part and I will show it to you. This blade is really useful. I take a long time to unbox my pens, but if I didn't have this blade, it would be much worse, I think. So, this is too well packed for my, <laughs> for my videos. Okay, now, here we have the pen. And this pen is not really a vintage one, it's not made anymore, but... It is, I don't know if you can read there, it is a pilot costume 67. So this is a pen that is no longer made and today there is a pen that is really based on this one, which is the pilot costume 72, 74, 74. Sorry, I'm not that good with these numbers, but I never liked that much the the costume 74. I don't know really why, but then I saw this one and I thought it was a little nicer because it looked a little bit older, maybe because of that. It has this double ring instead of a broad ring there. These are two very thin rings. It has the same kind of pilot clip. I I think it is nice. And let's unscrew it. And it doesn't have the ring here as the other pilot has. Which, and this is nice. And it has this nib. This nice gold nib. A small one, a number 5, but it is the same size as the nib on the on the other pilot, on the costume, nine, uh, costume 74. And I wonder if I can see the, the date code or if there is a date code on this nib. And I don't think so, but I'll have, I'll have, I need to check it with a magnifying glass because I don't think I will be able to see it here under this lighting and through the camera. And it comes with a CON70, this converter, which is always quite nice. 
I think it has some rust there along the that axis but maybe that can be cleaned and so this is a not a big pen but I think it is a nice one I will ink it soon because I really liked the looks of this pen and the looks of the nib and I think it is it looks very very classy I I think this is a very nice pen. This is my second pilot costume. I only have one, but it has nothing to do with this one, which is this. And this pilot costume has this kind of nib. So, this is my first pilot costume with this regular nib instead of the um, inlaid nib. Besides this new one, I have only a few more. The Pilot V Pen, which is an exposed, a full, normal sized and normal shaped nib, but it has that kind of look. I also have a Pilot Petite, which is interesting, but the nib is the same. A Pilot Kakuno. The Pilot. Uh, and what is the name of this one? 72G? I'm not sure. Uh, but this one, it is a less expensive pen for sure. And it has a steel nib. But I can say it has some things similar. It, it has the same overall kind of shape and style but steel nib and it is a very inexpensive pen. I also have the Pilot Lucina, which has a nicer nib, a bigger one, but it is made of steel. Let me just compare both nibs and I think they are of the same size. The steel one is much, much shinier. And finally, I have this other pen with a gold nib and I think this is the only exposed gold nib pilot that I had, that I have I had so far. And it is this pilot bamboo, which has beautiful nib. And it is a number 10. This one is a number 5, so a smaller one. And so this pen will be cleaned. I will try to clean a little bit that converter that seems to have some rust or something on that shaft and I will ink it and show it to you soon writing and I think I will enjoy this one. I I am really prepared to enjoy this pen uh, because I I really like I really like that kind of vintage look and I think it's a little nicer in terms of look than the costume 74 but let's see when I say this maybe one of these days I will start searching for a 74 to add to the collection I'm really uh, so, uh, somehow problematic with this kind of stuff because I start to collect variations and I can't do that so this is fine enough for me now Let's see what will be around in the future. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and we will meet again next video. Bye!